It's Mimsy here. Do you have a set of drapes that just doesn't open and close real easily? They stick on the rod and just makes it a pain in the butt to open and close them? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to remedy that situation. We're gonna change out this curtain rod and make this super easy to open and close. So let's get started. So I'm standing here in my guest bedroom and I'm gonna have my in-laws staying in here in a little more than a week's time. So I need to get these drapes hung properly so that they can open and close the curtains easily when they're in here. This is the only form of privacy on the window are these drapes and they have seen better days. These are drapes that I made years ago for my family room and then eventually put them in here and you can see they're a mess. I did a whole drapery making series um, like a year, maybe two years ago on how I made these drapes. It's a whole series that gives you every detail about drapery making. So anyway, I've got to fix that drape first. Take it down, put buckram in the header of it so that it will work and then I'm going to take down this drapery rod and install a new drapery rod that moves very easily and smoothly. I need to get this done before they come and stay here. They actually live in our backyard and on our property in a tiny house right there but they are having company and they're giving their house to their company and so they'll be here for a few days. That's my story, let's get started. This happened when I wasn't home one day. So those drapes I have to add a buckram to the header, so, but these I'm going to try to keep them neat and folded like this. So I had never sewn these panels together, they were for a different room, so they never got sewed together. what a huge difference it makes to have curtains up. Just changes the room. What we're gonna use for the curtain rod is the Ikea Vidga, Vidja. <laughs> it's basically a hospital track and I'm gonna mount it on the ceiling so that I can raise the curtains as high up as possible. So this is Ikea brand clearly. I will put a link in the description box below for a curtain rod just like this on Amazon. It's a basically a hospital track. They're very affordable, easy to install, and easy to use. So there's a link for one of those below. The Vidja Vidga comes with ceiling mount hardware in the box. You can also mount this on the wall if you don't want to do a ceiling mount, but you have to buy that separate. Okay, so I am joining together two tracks and I'm not even going to cut it because I want it to be long enough to come over here and cover up this ugly box. The way that I'm doing it is I just held up the track against the ceiling. Hold it there. Make sure that you are parallel all the way across to your wall. And then what I did is I just put a line in the front and in the back so that I could see where to put my anchor and my screw. The directions on the IKEA site say to use this type of a screw, like a pan head screw, and not this type of a screw. And this is the type of anchor I'm using. It's just one of these plastic anchors and it works great. Drill the screw in a little ways to get the hole started for the anchor. This curtain rod is really, really simple once you figure it out. The next step is to install this thing with the washer. This little piece here goes down, so it needs to be screwed in like that. You put the washer on top and then the screw like so. So that's the way that's installed into that anchor that you just put in. And don't crank it in super tight. Just make it snug in the anchor, but don't crank it down. And you want to have the little arm pointed out at you. All right, now we can install the rod. So the rod goes in like this. The short side goes up. But actually, I've got to do the joiner thing first. Here's the little joiner, and the way it works is you put this in to the top, which is the short side, like this, and you only put it in to about halfway into that oval, and then you just push that side down to lock it in, and then this joins to the other side. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to close that, and then I'll bring it closer to show you that. Now this side, you just put it up on that little arm and then close the arm and that hooks it in. So now that rod is in there nice and tight. So I got the joiner in the center there. I already put my carriers in here. I 
put them all on so there's 48 carriers. And the last thing is to put that end piece on. This is the end piece and this is the tool that goes with it. This is important because that'll keep your carriers from flying off the end of the thing and you can put your last curtain hook into this. That way it'll keep your curtains over on the edge so when you open your curtains, it doesn't just pull the whole panel right to the center of the track. All you do is undo this little screw here, slide that in and tighten it back down. Now I can hang one drapes back up. So the very first hook goes into this stationary. And actually what I might even do is put the second, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the second hook in the stationary and then I'm gonna return this one to the wall. So what I'm gonna do since my panels aren't sewn together is I'm gonna hook this next one onto that same hook so that it'll stay together. So if you're just gonna join or if you're gonna use multiple panels but you don't wanna sew them together, just hook this hook onto this same carrier as the last one. So much better. And we can pull this and close this so much easier. Okay, so now I need to take my other panels. I need to get a hook for that. Uh, I hook for over there, take my other panels into my workroom and sew on some buckram. So I'm gonna show you the return to the wall. So here we are up at the ceiling and my return to the wall is this. Okay, so I've got the second hook on the stationary thing and then this hook goes on this eye hook. And that way this just returns back to the wall. So when you open, that stays that. Okay, here's the other thing that I like to do is I like to hang with these ripple folds. You can hang two drapery hooks on one carrier. That way, when you open your drapes all the way like this, let me hook it back up. Okay, that way that folds around the corner nicely there like that. And then with two, when you do it with two hooks on one carrier, when you open the curtain, you keep this gather here instead of this just opening all flat. Does that make sense? Not to mention you save a bunch of carriers. So, so now I need to Fix the hem down here. I need to steam and style the drapes, but isn't that better? So easy. So easy. Easy, 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 easy. If you want to see the four part series that I did on drapery making, it explains everything regarding drapery making start to finish, all the details. If you want to watch those videos or that series, go ahead and click this box right here.